Hey guys, Sam here at NA Studios. Today I want to take a look at using Isotope RX with Pro Tools. There is a super easy way to seamlessly integrate these two applications, but there's two different ways that you can do it, and they work in two different ways for two different applications. I'm going to show you both of them and show you when each one is useful. Let's just jump straight in. Okay, so this is going to be using RX Connect to send stuff out from Pro Tools into RX and then back into Pro Tools. It's a super easy way of doing it. First one is I'm just going to select this audio file. So if you just take a listen, recording dialogue into Pro Tools is super easy, just setting up a microphone and then taking it out into RX can be troublesome, but there's a super easy way you can do it. Super cheesy, corny dialogue, whatever. So I'm just going to select this one audio file, go up to Audio Suite, Noise Reduction, where I'll find all my RX plugins, and then go to RX Pro Connect. So there's two different options here. We can either reference or we can repair. Now, repair is the one we're going to use for this. We're going to come on to reference in a moment when we look at some kick and snare recordings. So for repair, I'm just going to go send. And that's going to open it up in RX. Now, I'm using RX 9 Pro. This works in any version of RX that you might be using at the moment. I can bring up my signal chain, my module chain, and just click render and just do any kind of processing that I would normally do in RX. This is just the chain that I, I like to use. It's applied all that processing. I'm going to close my chain and just click send back. Then it has received those changes within Pro Tools and all I need to do is click render. If you watch the waveform here, it will slightly alter and you can see that it's changed. You know that it's changed because up here on the header, it tells you that it is a file that has come from RX. Super easy way of doing it. That's number one. That's kind of the easy way of doing it if you just want to take out a few bits of dialogue, a few mouth clicks, whatever. The next one is a bit cleverer. Now, super, super important for when you're about to do this process, if you're using the deep lead module within RX, you have to make sure that the two files that you're using are exactly the same length. So if you're working from a multi-mic drum kit, the chances are there probably are going to be. I've had to manipulate these slightly to make them exactly right. You may need to commit changes in Pro Tools or whatever it is. Just make sure they're exactly sample accurate, the exact same length. So let's take a listen to these two tracks then. We've got a kick and a snare. Okay, cool. You'll notice in the kick channel, a fair amount of snare spill there. So we're going to use the um, reference and repair sections in RX now. We'll go back up to audio suite, go into noise reduction, and then straight to connect again. And we're going to use this reference section. What we're going to do is select our snare channel, select reference, and then go send. So that's going to load it into RX in the background. And then we go to our kick channel, we have repair selected, and we go to send. So this is going to bring up two audio files. The first one is the reference. So that is the snare channel in this instance. And then this one is the kick. So we'll hear the kick. Then we'll hear the snare. So if we select the kick channel and go over to deep lead, we can tell the deep lead module to listen to our reference. So that's the snare drum. And when it hears similarities in those tracks, i.e. when it hears snare drum in the kick channel, it will know to get rid of it because it's referencing the two together. So we'll go bleed source track is going to be reference. And then we're going to go learn. So that's going to listen to the snare track and the kick track and tell us when there's any similarities in the two and display them here. So then our reduction strength, we can just tailor to whatever we want. Let's have that up at full at the moment. On our kick channel, let's just take a listen to what it's doing and we'll bypass it and take a listen to the differences. Before. Loads of snare. So we've managed to get rid of that snare using the deep lead module, but then we can just take it back into Pro Tools in exactly the same way. We can just go up to our kick channel, click send back, and then in our RX Connect, click render. And you can see that it has changed again because the track header has changed. And if we listen to that channel on its own, just the kick drum, we know that we've got a clean kick channel because we've taken out all the snare using that deep lead module. 
Couple of super easy ways of using RX Connect there so that you can link Pro Tools and RX. I love RX, it's such a great application for so many different sources in audio. Obviously for voiceover with vocals, but then this kind of stuff brings it into the kind of music world. You can do loads of bits with drums and guitars. There's just no end to the possibilities. Hope that's been useful for you, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.